Yo, what's going on, guys? Just want to check back in with you. You know who it is? It's your man, the walking bowling ball. Checking in with you on a nice and chilly and brisk Friday evening. I want to check in and show a little love, appreciation, and gratitude on a Friday. Get it in before Sunday this week. Um, I'm going to jump on real quick, man. Um, I just wanted to, to share this message, man. Um, but before I do this, take a look at this. This is beautiful. And this is something I'm going to touch on. All right. You just saw that house. Take a look at this house. Number one, the time it takes to do something like that. The vision, the effort, the love. Hold on. Here we go again. Hold on. Now, look, I jump on to say that because every year these people do the same thing to their home every season. Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween. Halloween, this house jumps. On Halloween, this house is badass. Look at it in the background. On Halloween, this house is badass. My kids always come to this house on Halloween. Fourth of July, house looks good. I, I even think they did something for Juneteenth last year. I'm messing with you. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> Some of y'all don't even know what Juneteenth is. I ain't mad at you. Look, it's getting a little dark. It's all right. I'm still here though, right? But look, I just wanted to hop on because I had a conversation with someone last night and it, it struck me, man, because I was going to do this video last week um, and I got caught up talking about some other things because I had a lot on my heart last week, but I wanted to hop on today in the dark and I want to talk about something, man, and I want to talk about gifts. You know, we all have them. And you need to appreciate them. Everybody's gifts aren't the same. Everybody doesn't have the same talent. You know, some people can make you laugh. Some people can make you cry. Some people can motivate you. Some people can inspire you. You know, some people can push you to the extreme. Some people can pull your ass back from the edge. You know what I'm saying? But whoever you are, whatever it is that you're doing, you have gifts. You have something that you can contribute to this world. You know, when you look at these homes during this time of year, during Christmas, and you see these decorations, you see all these people, man, and what they're showing you is just an outprocessing of their love, their appreciation, what they have inside. This is a gift that they're giving the world. You know, it's not for a competition. It's not for some kind of prize. You know, I don't know if there's any money involved in it. Probably not. This is just something that they're doing. This is their love. This is their way of showing their love, appreciation and gratitude for their lives, for what they have, for their day to day, for their families, just just their being. And you have to appreciate that. Look at this house. Look at this one. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's their gift. So me rolling my little chubby ass around my neighborhood, I get to see that. That house motivates me. That inspires me. That gets me to hop on and do a video. You know, I was talking to someone yesterday. I'm going to get back to that. And, you know, they, they want to do videos. They want to get on. You know, they're into working out. They have a fucking fascinating life, man. It is, it is fascinating. It is far more fascinating than the mundane shit that I do. <laughs> and it just struck me as odd that they didn't want to share that with everybody because it's not the norm. It is not the norm. It is, it's gutsy. Um, you know, it, it, it take it, honestly, it takes a lot of balls to do what they do. It takes fearlessness. Um, it takes passion. Uh, it takes curiosity. And it's something that, people would want to see, especially from a woman. And, you know, I, and I told her, I was like, listen, I was like, 
you got to be comfortable enough to share your message. You're under the impression that there's no one out there that wants to hear what you got to say. You're under the impression that what you're doing isn't popular enough that people are going to catch on and want to be part of your tribe. And I got to tell you, from my 48 subscribers, and I appreciate and I love every single one of y'all. You guys mean the world to me. It doesn't have to be for a million people. It doesn't have to be for 500,000 people. It doesn't have to be for 1,000 people. It doesn't have to be for two people. It can be for one person. Shit, man, it can just be for you. If it's just for you, if it means enough for you to get on, say what you got to say, do what you got to do, be who you want to be, string up some likes, post a workout video, post a cooking video, show somebody your craft, show somebody what you do, give that motivational speech, do it, that's your gift, that's what you have to offer the world, that shit is special, that's from you, that's from your heart. That's something that you're doing that's going to brighten up this world. And trust me, man, we need it because there's enough bullshit out here that we're fucking clued into and tuned into and pumped into our minds every single day. So we need some positivity, man. We need some words of encouragement. We need some people to go ahead and step out and show the world their light. You know what I mean? Whatever it is that you want to do, if that's my message... If that's what I'm going to tell you going into 2023, leaving out of 2022, when whatever that time is that you decide, if it's a resolution, make a fucking resolution, man. If it's a goal, make a goal, man. If it's a promise, make a promise. But whatever the hell it is, give it to the world, man. If it's a gift that you have, if it's something that's inside, if it means something to you, even if it's the smallest thing, even if you don't think it means shit to anybody else, share it. Share it. You don't know what that could mean. You could be saving somebody's life, man. And I'm going to tell you something. My ability to do these videos over the last few months, share my life, talk about some of the things that are on my mind. It's changed me, man. You know, I, I told you guys a couple of weeks ago, you know, I was 30 days sober. Hold on, hold on. I got something else for you. Look at this. Look at that. That's beautiful. Hold on. I ain't done. I ain't done. I'm, I'm going to show him some love. Hold on. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's a gift. That's a gift. Look at that. Look. Look at that. Time. Effort. Vision. Something like that, something beautiful like that. Got cars stopping, taking pictures, shooting videos. That's impressive. That's a gift. Thank them for that gift. Look at that. That's beauty. Look what that brings out. I love this time of year, man. Not because of the presents, not because what you're going to get. It's sure it's only because of the music. That's for damn sure. But what it brings out in people. It's like this is the one time of year we get over ourselves. Enough time for you to out-process some stuff to show love, appreciation, and gratitude from everybody to everybody. I wish we did more of this throughout the year. I wish we lived on this vibrational level more. But getting back to what I was saying, though, man, if you got that inside, dude, 2023, if there's one thing you're going to do, step out. Step out. I'm celebrating 66 days sober today. 66. That's the longest sobriety I've had drug and alcohol free since I got in trouble damn near, damn near 10 years ago. People who know me know that story. 10 years ago, I was in bad shape, man. You know, I just got kicked out of college. I was home. I was working. Lost my scholarship. There was no way back. Got in trouble again. And I was in some serious trouble. And I went through a stretch where I had to build myself up, man. And I had to find some strength and I had to get rid of some things. One of those things was alcohol and some other things that went along with that. And in that process, it helped me become the man that I am today. But demons, man, they don't go away. Especially if you're not willing to face them every single day. And so that's what I had to get back to. They came back. 
they caught up and there I was. And so for the last 66 days, look at that, more beauty. For the last 66 days, I've been clean. The vision, how I feel, my relationships, everything is better. Everything is better. And that process started with me sharing with you guys, with me wanting to go on here and talk about things. Everything was down, man. Everything was down for me for a while. And I was down with it. And nothing was making me feel better. And I felt like I didn't have anybody to talk to. And I felt like I was the only one that was going through it. And so I picked up the camera. And I started talking. I started doing videos about the things that I knew. About the things that I loved. I started talking to people about the things that I knew. And the things that I loved. And I shared my experiences with you. And to be honest with you, man, it saves me. I look forward to doing these. Before, this was tough. Like I said, this isn't me. I'm not the kind of person that's going to go out here and do this all the time because I am secretive, man. And I am a private person. But this is one of my gifts. And I'm not going to keep it to myself. Yeah, I might not have the most people following me. A lot of people don't even like my ass. And you know what? I can't blame them. Most of the time, I don't like me. But for the people who do want to hear what I have to say, for the people who do appreciate the things that I'm doing, for the people who are in my corner, for the people who are out here with me, who love and appreciate me, let me tell you something, man. I love and appreciate you right back. And I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for helping me get to where I am right now, rolling my big ass around this neighborhood, walking, looking at the gifts that everybody else is out here sharing as well. So before I get too long winded, that's all I want to say, man. Share your gifts. Identify your gifts. You all know what they are. You know what you're good at. You know what you suck at. Stop paying so much attention to what you suck at. And start paying a lot more attention to what you're good at. You know what it is. And whatever it is. Make sure you share it with the world, man. I want it. I want that gift. I want to share mine with you. This is your friend. This is your man. The walking bowling ball. Checking out. You need me, you know where to find me. Peace.